Well, hey guys, uh, Harrison here, and I'm going to do a quick small tutorial on uh, something that some people will be interested to know. I mean, this is a common feature that was recently installed on, well, not installed, was, was put on Google. It's called Search by Image. And I see a lot in videos people saying, hey, can I get this image? Download link. Now, I'm not sure this is the best way to do this, but I'm going to tell, show you guys how you can get how you could get an image from a YouTube video by using search by image. So let's go ahead and pick a YouTube video. We're going to go with this one. And what you're going to do is hit print screen. Every keyboard has it. It's it's different for all of them. And we're going to go up to Microsoft Paint. You can probably use other programs, but this is probably the best. And now what you want to do is hit Control V. We're gonna or go to edit and hit paste and you'll have your YouTube screen in Microsoft Paint. Next step is to go to crop and then you want to select your image. Uh, do your best not to include the YouTube uh, length bar. That could cause complications with searching. Copy. Hit new. Don't save. Hit control V a second time. And you'll have your image. Uh, it's not always going to fit perfectly like it just did for me. In fact, mine's glitching up. But what we want to do is fit it up like that. Um, yours is going to look different. It's going to be white in this area. But you just got to fit it to fit it fit this these corners to your image. Otherwise, it won't fit the resolution correctly. After that, you can hit save. I'm going to name this uh, SBI2 because I already have search by image save then you can close out of that I didn't even open steam whatever now you can go to Google hit images now to search by image there's gonna be a small little camera here click that and you can either paste an image URL which we're not doing because this is a video not an image you're gonna want to upload an image choose file you gotta find where you download where you obviously downloaded this image mostly if if you save the image it's for Microsoft Paint it's gonna be in your pictures if it's not in your pictures which it's not it's probably gonna be on your desktop or somewhere where you set your stuff to save in Microsoft Paint if you don't have it set to somewhere else then it's going to be saved in your pictures but I have it set to save on my desktop just because it's easier to find Okay, you're gonna want to click your, uh, your, your what you named it, and it'll start uploading to Google Images. It's not sharing it or anything; it's just searching it. Now, here I found the actual legitimate images of this YouTube video. Um, best guess is what they think it is. I would say I got some Japanese thing. This is a Japanese picture. I'm gonna try and do, look at the best guess. There's a chance it's not gonna come up. Nice Japanese shit. Obvi okay, so obviously I didn't get the best guess was not successful here. I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, uh, here it is. This is a uh, one. If you find at least one version, what you can do is click that version and look for more sizes right here, and it will give you all of them. And if you're looking for a desktop background, you're gonna want to get the biggest resolution, which would be shit. My bad. Which would be this one right here in void load but this is the one you're gonna want to look at this and that's how it's done um, yeah I'll go ahead and say this is my desktop background one that will load correctly I like this one and you're gonna want to of course follow the process of saving the image uh, that's that definitely saved to now once you save it here, it's not going to be in your pictures. It's now now it's going to be in your downloads because you're downloading it off the internet now. You're not uploading it. We'll go to your down. We'll go to downloads. Look for your picture right here. Open up. Set as your stuff background. You're going to want to right click and just set as your stuff background. And there you go. There's your picture. It's as easy as that. Um, a simple overview of what you're doing if, you're, if your head's getting confused with all this crap. You're screen capping, cropping, 
uploading, and then downloading again. That's what you're doing with this. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope this helps you. If you have any questions or troubles, feel free to ask. And that's it. Thank you.